Hello, my friends. It's another week. Another cautionary tale about lithium ion batteries. This one with a twist. I swear, you can't make this stuff up. So, a year ago, roughly, Stuhl Dallendorf, Germany opened up a brand new fire station. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, it was celebrated as a technological achievement. It was a big deal. I couldn't, I couldn't find where I read that, so I don't have an exact quote, but special. It's a multi-million dollar facility. New, modern, state of the art. And there was much rejoicing. So let's fast forward to October 16th or October 17th, the morning of the 16th or the 17th German local time. This shiny new modern technological achievement, multi-million dollar fire station catches fire. It destroyed the equipment hall and some dozen or so emergency vehicles inside. I mean, it's, it's tragic. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. So 170 firefighters from the surrounding area descended on this place, the first of which got there in three minutes. But by that time, they said the flames were 50 feet in the air. Or maybe it was meters. I, I don't know. It's... Europe for you. But long story short, some $26 million worth of damage. Uh, now this huge fire station can't do its job. So now there's a very large gaping hole in the coverage in the Stundallendorf Fire District. And you hate to see this happen to first responders that now can't do their job because now they don't have the equipment to protect people in their area. And there were some people right away that were quick to try to point the finger at the fire being caused by an electric emergency vehicle. I don't think that was the case, shockingly enough, because everything I read, every report has the same curious phrasing about the cause of the fire. And I don't know if it's just the way it was translated from local German reports, but they all say something, and I got notes here, they all say something to the effect of, quote, it started in an emergency vehicle which contained lithium-ion batteries and an external power connection, which tells me it was probably uh, battery-operated tools, saws or whatever, uh, left on a charger, probably inside the equipment cabinet on a fire truck or something. And you don't charge your... You don't leave your lithium-ion batteries for your small power equipment on the charger in an enclosed space. You just, you just don't do that because obvious reasons. But surprisingly, that is not the part of the story that you can't make up. This was a fire station. Shiny and new and modern. The crown jewel in their fire district. Celebrated as an achievement when opened that didn't have a fire suppression system or even its own fire alarm. Because the experts said they didn't think it was needed. <laughs> what? I you can't make this up. I'm beside myself. I'd like to make a joke, but it's, it's, so, it's so messed up. I can't. Who makes a fire station without its own fire alarm. You don't think fire stations can catch on fire? You know, they're not built out of asbestos. They're not built out of fire retardant material completely that I know of. But when they interviewed the head of the fire district, supposedly he said he didn't think that a suppression system or alarm would have helped in this case. I guess that's a testimonial to the voraciousness of a fire caused by a lithium ion battery. Now, they're not publicly stating it was an EV. There's no evidence reported that it was an EV, but as fast as this thing burned through, this very is a really large fire station and the first responders getting there in three minutes, I'm betting there was probably at least one in there that caught fire. But in this case, not even the firefighters, the people that are tasked with putting out lithium ion battery fires when they start, were immune from the dangers of this technology. The biggest issue I have is with the large batteries, but the small batteries can be dangerous too if not handled properly. So make sure you're charging and handling your lithium ion batteries for your small equipment properly. Read manufacturer's directions, 
I then go one step beyond that. We don't want fires to keep happening any more than they already do. We don't want them to happen at all. So thinking about it now, I'm wondering, and I'm kind of concerned now, how many other fire stations have taken the shortcut of not putting in a fire suppression system or an alarm of their own? I don't know. That's something to think about. But that's all I got for now. Take care of your batteries. I'm JR, and I am out.